Hey church, uh, welcome to today's devotion. Um, it's my privilege to um, be sharing it with you today. I hope that you're all really well and um, I hope that you're having a great day. Um, so today we're looking at Proverbs 29. Um, as with all the Proverbs, this is a really good proverb and there's lots of good stuff to um set you up for your day. Um, so I really would encourage you to read um, this chapter for yourself because I'm only going to focus on one verse and I'm gonna, only going to read one verse for you today because it's too long for me to read it all to you. But I really do encourage you to go away and spend a little bit of time just reading it for yourself. So I'm going to be looking at verse 26. And verse 26 says, this is taken from the Message Bible. It says, the fear of human opinion descends Tables. trusting in God protects you from that and then I want to um, read it to you from the NLT version and that says fearing people is a dangerous trap but trusting the Lord brings safety um, and I just want to share a couple of things with you that a um, couple of thoughts from this verse today that, that I just thought about as I read it um, and the first thing is that if we fear what others think about us, it stops us from doing what we're supposed to be doing. The NLT talks about this being a trap. The fear of um, people is a dangerous trap. And, and if you think about a trap, when an animal gets um, stuck in a trap, it, it's really, really difficult for it to get out. And in a lot of um, occasions, the animal can't actually get out of the trap. So um, fearing people... Is, could be a little bit like a trap, something that is really, really difficult to get out of. So then that would be really disabling. Um, and, I, and I think being worried about what people think about us, it's a really easy trap to fall into. Um, it's, it's really easy to um, sometimes spend your day worrying about the people that you're seeing or the people that you're in meetings with or just people that are surrounding your life. It could, it's quite easy to be a little bit bothered and a little bit concerned about what these people think, whether they like us or not, or whether we're annoying them. And, and it's, it's a really easy trap to fall into. And, and I want to encourage you today to go through today trying really hard not to be worried about people think, but just go about today thinking that everybody likes you. And it's really surprising that this really helps you in the way that you approach people. If you if you approach someone and you think they don't like you, 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 you could be really nervous, really lack confidence. But if you approach someone um, thinking that, oh, they, they really like me, it's amazing the confidence that you uh, have when, when you approach those people. So go through your day today thinking that everybody you meet likes you and you will be full of confidence. Okay, so the next next thought I want to share with you from this verse is the next part of 26 protects us from falling into the trap of fear of people. And that is, it says, trusting the Lord brings safety. Or the message says, trusting in God protects you from that. And that, that is the fear of people. So, if you trust in God, that will be a protection from you falling in the trap, into that trap of fearing people. So when we trust God, it's a protection over, all, over us that helps us and protects us from falling into the trap of being so worried about what other people think. Because when we trust God, our main concern will be pleasing God, not pleasing people. Because really, if you think about it, you can't really please everybody. It's an absolute impossible thing to please everybody. But when when you trust God, um, you, you th that protects you from falling into the fear of people. Um, so I, I really want to encourage you, I want to encourage myself today to trust God, be confident in the plans that he's got for your life and be confident in the plan that he has for you for today. Um, just trust him. Um, whatever it is, whatever situation, whatever's going on in your life right now, um, it's not a surprise to God. 
It's, it didn't take him by surprise. It may have took you by surprise, but it, it's not taking God by surprise. He's right there. Trust God that he knows what he's doing in your life. And he, he is going to carry you through this current situation. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Sometimes it is we look at what's going on and we try to work things out and rely on what we think. But this verse really encourages us to not lean on what we think, to not to not rely on what we think, but trust in the Lord with all our heart. Um, sometimes we try and try and like understand what's happening, but but just trust God. Because he sees the bigger picture. He sees beyond our situation. He sees bigger than what we see. So trust in the Lord. Um, in our house um, at the moment, we've been going through a little bit of a storm. I know the whole world's been going through a storm, actually. I know that. it's It's been a crazy, crazy 12 months. And the whole world's been going through a storm. But... We've been going through two crazy storms. We've been going through the storm that everybody's been going through, but we've been going through a little bit of our own personal storm as well. And through this storm, I'm finding that my trust in God is really growing, that I, I, I'm I, just trusting God in a way that I wouldn't have trusted God before. As, as I've seen him provide for us, as I've seen him meet our needs, as I've seen him protect us, I, my trust in God is growing. And, and I really do think that in the storm, um, that is where your faith and your trust in God grows. You, God knows what's at the other end of the other side of this storm. We don't. And, and we have to trust God with that. And you find in the, you probably all will find that in the midst of a storm, that is where God does the deepest work. Don't fear the storm because the storm is often that place where God will do the deepest, deepest work in your heart, where where you will um, learn more the most about God that you've ever learned before, where you will just your faith will just grow and and you will really get to know God. Um, so don't don't fear the storm because God knows what's at the other side of your storm. He knows what He's doing. He knows um, He knows everything. Um, when, when we choose, um, to trust God in the storm, when I've chosen in this current situation that we're in, when I've chosen to trust God in the storm, I've experienced his presence. So when you trust God in the storm, um, you, you really do experience his presence. Um, his peace is hope. And all we need to do to experience this in the storm is not to focus on the storm. If, if you focus on what's going on, if you focus on the storm, you don't feel those things. But if you focus on God, you will feel his peace. You will feel his presence. You will feel his hope and his strength. But that, that's all we need to do. Focus on him and not focus on the storm. Make God bigger than your storm. Um, and a really, really practical way that you can do that. You just, how how do I focus on God when I'm in the middle of this crazy storm? All I can see is what's happening around me. How do I focus on God? A really, really practical way that I, I found has really helped me to focus on God and not the storm is just to praise and worship him. When, when you praise and worship him, it takes your focus off the storm and puts them onto Jesus. And it makes Jesus bigger than your current situation so get your music on get your worship music on just spend a few minutes um getting lost in worship and you will be amazed at the peace that comes upon you that god's presence um a new hope and a new faith and a new trust in god will come upon you our, our trust as god gets bigger than our storm our trust in god will grow um, so today, I want to encourage you to trust God. And as you do, the fear of what others think of you and the need we have to please people will get smaller and our trust in God will get bigger. Okay, so go and have an amazing day. And remember, don't worry about what people think. Just trust God because God knows he's got you. I love you. Have a great day. God bless.